What's up everyone? Welcome back to Beyond AR TV. My name is John and it's time for an installment of Rant It Out, a series that normally comes out of its cage when I have some anger or something heated on my mind that's been bottled up that I want to talk about. And today we're going to be talking about the rapper, artist, singer Lizzo. Not just because she has a new album out called Cause I Love You, it's also because of a certain tweet that she put out in the world and then subsequently doubled down on. Now, she was getting quoted by a lot of music journalists that I was seeing in my Twitter feed and people who review music on YouTube. I was starting to wonder what all the buzz was about because I was actually considering checking out Lizzo's album. I'll be very upfront in the fact that I've never listened to her music, and I'll also be upfront in the sense that I'm saying now that I have no reason to actually want to go check out her music because of her stance on things. I think it's very narrow-minded, so let's just go ahead and read off her tweet. Lizzo took to Twitter to not only say this and then eventually double down, but she started with, People who review albums and don't make music themselves should be unemployed. Someone made a pretty valid and logical, in my opinion, point in response to that, which she ended up quoting. The original tweet said, This is actually the most ridiculous logic, but if the review were completely positive, it would have been fine. Some of y'all need to think a little harder and tweet a little less. In response to that, she said, you're absolutely right, confirming the fact that she was doubling down on her saying that pretty much anyone who reviews music but doesn't play music is actually somebody who should be without a job. Where do I even begin to point out the flaws in this logic? There's so many different replies that flooded in, and fortunately people were smart enough to realize that this was a pretty yikes out of 10 take. Something that was not going over well or received well even by her own fans. That's when you know you done goofed. And the craziest part of this is that the record is sitting at like an 82 out of 100 on Metacritic, it's getting pretty rave reviews, and despite some people not liking it, guess what? Some people don't like pretty much anything on the internet. There is nothing universally loved, ever. There never has been and there never will be. There will always be naysayers, and as an artist, as a musician, as a personality, you have to embrace that. So let's get this straight, Lizzo. You think because somebody is not a musician that they cannot hear, perceive, or or think about art in any form. I know that I'm not a musician myself. Even though I dabble, I would never call myself a musician. I grew up in a musical household. You've probably noticed the keyboard or the little piano over here sitting in the corner. It's something that I kind of know how to play. I grew up with my mom being a music composer, somebody who taught music, gave piano lessons in our house. I even took piano lessons from her, and my dad was trained by ear, as he says. He sings and plays guitar, banjo, ukulele, the piano, all over the place. The, I definitely grew up in a musical family, but I'm not a musician myself. I got into reviewing music because I wanted to be a part of a community, be a part of a voice to shine a light on, yes, the bad stuff, but also the great stuff, and I've enjoyed doing it for the past decade. But for an artist like Lizzo to come in and just put their foot down and say, these people should be jobless, and then to double down on top of that, that bad look, that yikes out of 10 that she already laid down for us to say, you're absolutely right, if the review had been positive, then she wouldn't give a shit if they played played music themselves or not. That is a horrible take, and I can't even imagine or fathom saying that. I've said some pretty cringy things in my day. I've said some things that I regret, but I don't think I have ever in my entire life, even when I was a teenager, said, you know what? Just because you aren't able to do this thing that I can do, or I maybe do kinda well, you should be unemployed, or you shouldn't even have a shot at it. That seems so close-minded and so backwards, like I already pointed out. Now, obviously, I think a lot of music Twitter and even her fans at large seem to disagree with her and say, this is a very bad take. Come on, you can just delete it. We'll forget about it. Let's move on. I'll admit that my quote tweet in response to her was probably pretty bitter and also a bit immature. But what would you say if somebody came up and said, you know, you should actually be without a job because... You didn't like what I did, so that makes everything that you've ever done invalidated. It reminds me of the time that I gave a mediocre review to The Naked and Famous and their album in Rolling Waves. That was like 2013, and they tweeted in response to me by not only blocking me, but before that saying, everything I've ever done is shit. When an artist goes out on a branch like that and says to critics, to naysayers, or to people who are even praising her record and might have covered her that she basically doesn't want the attention 
situation. She doesn't understand them and they're never going to understand her. Why would anyone want to go out of their way to discover you, especially if they're in that field? Twitter user B said, pretty hot take for someone with 19 songwriters on their album. Next time I do some work, maybe I'll ask 18 of my friends for their help. Someone I know from the community, Lucy McCourt, wrote an article on Lizzo and how she needs to chill out and about the narcissism that really is just dripping from these tweets. The fact that most people are actually praising her and loving her, but she's allowing it to crawl under her skin so heavily that she she hits out at people who are basically innocent bystanders. Lizzo, the lesson to learn here is to one, apologize for this situation because you're going to alienate people. You're even alienating your own fans who are replying and saying, this is not the way to approach things. This is not the way to conduct yourself, especially for somebody who is now 30 years old. But my question to Lizzo is, well, you've probably got opinions on food, right? Maybe you've got films that you like or dislike or other artists that you don't care for. Well, who are you to ever say an opinion on everything? If this is truly what you believe, then who are you to ever give your opinion on anything that you don't personally do yourself? I don't ever want to see a tweet about McDonald's wasn't up to par today or, oh, no, I, I really didn't like this TV show that I watched. Do you make your own TV shows? Do you have your own restaurant? Then you're not allowed to think that. You're not allowed to critique that because you don't do it yourself. You see how insane that logic is? Like I said, fuck that mentality, fuck that way of thinking, and get the hell out of here, Lizzo. Ooh, the rage has boiled over, so we're gonna call it a day right there. Thank you so much for tuning into this rant on Lizzo and her tweets that she put out in the world. I'll leave some links for context in the description down below. Thank you guys for tuning in. Please drop a like on the video while you're here if you enjoyed it today. And what do you think about criticism and the way that artists react sometimes in the public eye on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, whatever? I just feel it's often a little bit excessive in the way that some people respond. I know I've responded to criticism negatively plenty of times, but I've also never threatened the likelihood of somebody's career saying, I hope that you either don't have a job or some people, not Lizzo, go to the extreme of I hope you die because you can't do it like I do it. I think it's an incredibly, horribly toxic mentality, but let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new to the channel. We talk about music for the love of music every single week on both of my channels, Beyond ARTV and ARTV. If you want to see another rant, then tap right over here or tap here for another recent review I did on the channel. Oh no, didn't play any music myself in it. Guess I'm just going to have to go see myself out. Social's in the description and I'll see you soon for more on Beyond ARTV.